Ganayan, I would love to hear from uh, South India what you're seeing, how climate change fits into the, the pressures that farmers there are feeling. Thank you very much. I'm feeling honored to be here representing farmers and La Via Campesina. The climate change, which affects the small and marginal farmers who are at the receiving end of this man-made disaster. And uh, it is also for the farming as a sector has been blamed for the larger contribution of the greenhouse emissions. For example, rice is being blamed for the contribution to the climate change. My father, my grandfather, my grandmother used to tell me that rice was a festival food in India five decades ago. And I happened to meet uh, the former agriculture minister also, who was also sharing the same thing. In Maharashtra, they used to eat bajra, not the wheat. Because of the Green Revolution, which was introduced as a response to poverty reduction and to address hunger and malnutrition in India, two grains got all sort of support from the government. One is rice, another is wheat, where the Green Revolution has been introduced. All kind of fossil fuel based chemicals were introduced and uh, seeds were made to respond to the chemical fertilizers. Now, the same kind of people are coming with some technical fix to the climate change. For example, I can, I can share a small example from my own place where I'm living. 20 years ago, in the village where I'm living, farmers used to cultivate ragi and millet and they used to have that as their main diet. Even if 50% of the failure of monsoon, still you can get some good harvest from ragi. But slowly, maize has taken place of ragi. And the maize, all kind of maize, maize from Bayer, maize from Monsanto, maize from all kind of companies, hybrid maize. If monsoon is okay, then farmers are getting very good yield. 30 quintals, 35 quintals to 40 quintals they are taking. They, they are getting out of that. Maize is getting premium price in the market. Whereas ragi is not getting premium price. Ragi is getting farmers maximum of 10 to 11 quintals per acre. And uh, to eat ragi, ragi has to be taken to a flour mill. It has to be converted into ragi flour. Then they can make uh, ragi balls and other dishes. Whereas at the same time, in my state, uh, my province Tamil Nadu, but the government is distributing rice 25 kilogram to 35 kilogram and the public distribution system free of cost. So you can uh, buy rice from the public distribution center, you can directly cook it. Whereas if you grow ragi, you have to harvest it, thresh it and you have to preserve it and you have to make it, you have to pay at least 2 rupees per kilogram in the flooring mill to convert it to ragi flour. So, farmers increasingly going towards maize which was determined by the market and the corporates. So, this is putting farmers into deeper trouble and there might be some uh, solutions like uh, climate smart uh, maize seeds might come to the market, farmers might be forced to buy that. So, these are all the kind of false solutions which uh, to my understanding as a farmers' leaders. Another example I can tell you and produce my intervention here. We have uh, different oil seeds. We have been using different oil seeds like uh, groundnuts, sesame, and mustard, all uh, 
90 days uh, crops, which requires very less water, even one or two rains, you can get a uh, harvest of uh, sesame. But I tried sesame, the last crop, and I got good harvest. I sold it to one kilogram for 80 rupees. And uh, interestingly, at my home, my mother uh, bought uh, sesame oil. That oil is uh, one liter oil is 90 rupees. I really shocked. Where did you, Mama, where did you buy this? And she said, oh, from the shop. So if I'm selling my sesame, one kilogram for 80 rupees, how come one liter of oil can be purchased for 90 rupees? Because India is net importer of edible oil from Malaysia, Indonesia, countries like that. And it is completely dominated by the corporates. The trade, cultivation, everything dominated by the corporates. And uh, in, in public distribution system, now palm oil is being distributed. Palm oil is distributed for 25 rupees. If you want to buy good quality oil, you have to pay 150 to 250 rupees.